Women cannot claim the throne of the Principality of Monaco, but the sons they bear, especially if born from a marriage with a suitable man from a dynastic perspective, certainly can. If Charlotte's grandfather miscalculated with one of his daughters, failing to marry her to such a man, he definitely intended to correct this mistake with his granddaughter. Charlotte was being considered for marriage even as she finished school, but she preferred to follow her aunt's footsteps, adopting the principles her aunt advised in searching for a suitable candidate. Needless to say, the royal family disagreed. Princess Charlotte's love for actors seemingly inherited from her aunt. Her mother had a successful marriage that lasted until her husband's tragic death, which she struggled deeply with. For a long time she remained single and began drinking, as all the men she took a liking to failed the family's scrutiny, forcing her to break off these relationships. Eventually she had to keep her relationships a strict secret from her father, with only Charlotte and Stephanie knowing about her suitor. The aunt felt much sympathy for her sister, constantly advising her niece that feelings should be kept secret from family members, but not restrained. She herself couldn't bear any restrictions, especially in love. However, among her lovers, there were almost no suitable ones, i.e., no princes, mostly bodyguards, and even circus performers. Following her aunt's example, Charlotte began to wear strange clothes, cut her jeans, paint her nails bright colors, and generally behaved provocatively. The family disapproved and decided to remove the older relative in the worst possible way. While she was away, they sent a woman to her husband, paying her to provoke a scandal. She succeeded. The next day, explicit photos appeared in the newspapers, which were impossible to refute. Stephanie was asked to leave the palace her father, who allegedly orchestrated the whole scheme, accused her of not controlling her husband well enough. Despite him being from a non-noble family, his behavior was deemed highly inappropriate. Alas, after Stephanie's disappearance, Charlotte did not return to the docile girl persona her family cherished. She spent more time in France, partying in nightclubs, and made many wealthy friends and acquaintances in the acting world. That's where she met comedian Gad Elmele. By the time they met he was already famous, hosting TV shows, and had a way of charming people. Charlotte met him at a party, immediately proclaiming her admiration for his intelligence, which she loved. She also complimented his piano skills and blue eyes. Their conversation about childhood revealed a shared passion for horses. Charlotte's aunt gave her a horse when she was just twelve. Gad, coming from a less affluent family, had no horse of his own and would run for miles just to admire these noble animals. After this revelation Charlotte was smitten and invited the new acquaintance to the princely stables. He accepted, and their romance began. Before Gad, she briefly dated another actor and had a serious four-year relationship with a boy well-liked by her family, hoping art gallery owner and millionaire's son Alex Delal would become her husband. Although he lacked royal lineage, he was from her social circle, and wealth could overlook many things, including a few marquises in his ancestry. When her relationship with Gad became known, everyone thought he was only after her money, as Charlotte was very wealthy and indulged his whims, whether for unique pastries, a miniature doll museum in Monaco he loved wind-up dolls, which Charlotte gifted him, or rare vinyl records of a long-forgotten singer specially restored for him. The family sympathized with the princess, waiting for a breakup or damaging revelations about Gad, who, despite being a sought-after actor, wasn't considered a big enough celebrity to satisfy the Prince of Monaco. Even deeply in love, Charlotte couldn't ignore the possibility of deception, given her mother's and aunt's sad experiences. However, Stephanie reassured her, saying if the man didn't propose, he was worth being with if he did, he was after her title. Gad never proposed. They began dating in 2011, and when their relationship became public, the first question from journalists was naturally about marriage. Gad stated they were not even engaged, just in love. He expressed that Charlotte was his beloved, and that was enough for them. 
This sentiment was echoed when their son Raphael was born in 2013. Charlotte gave birth in the same hospital where she was born. Gad, absent due to a concert, found out about his son's birth from the audience's applause during his performance. After the concert, Gad bought Charlotte's favorite tulips and rushed to the hospital. He kneeled before her, stirring up her marriage suspicions, but he merely invited her to a secluded getaway with their child. The journalists couldn't find anything scandalous about their discreet weekend. However, the child did not bring them closer, and no marriage proposal followed. They parted ways peacefully.